I'm gonna take you on the sketchbook tour slash challenge that I got got done doing recently. So last month I went to the East Coast and I went to um, Washington DC, Baltimore, and then shot up to uh, Maine up east. And I said, you know what? Let me buy a sketchbook and um, paint the whole way through. And the trip lasted 10 days and the book itself is 48 pages. And so this is just kind of like a challenge I did for myself. It went all right. It took me a little bit more than 10 days. So the book itself is um, a pentallic. It's pretty solid. It's a watercolor book. Um, I think I got it for like 20 bucks or something. And um, this watercolor set is, says layer on there. I actually bought these in um, Germany. And so I've had these watercolors since 2014. And I've used them enough, but as you can tell, like you can tell I've tried to put a dent in them, but man, they last a long time. So, and then just a watercolor brush. So these are the supplies that I'm using. I also had some markers, but for the most part, this was just it. All right, so here we go. Um, the first page, the first page um, is kind of always the funnest to, for me to do because I think it's just kind of like your cover art page or whatever and so yeah man just made some stuff up on the plane and then what's crazy is as I was drawing the dude sitting next to me his name is Ignacio um, he just kind of like tapped me on the shoulder and was like yo paint this photo of uh, me and my girlfriend so here we are on the plane and I'm just watercoloring and it's, and it's weird because I was like you know I'm just gonna paint the whole time and then right away, people just kind of like, people were cool with it. And so I was getting experiences like this. Um, this is a photo that also I started off with just trying to, um, taking a reference from Instagram. And what I'm, what you notice at first is that they're real light, but then um, the next day I was out, I was out paying um, with, at a little function in DC for my friend's birthday. And what you can see here is me like doing some life drawing or life painting with the watercolors. But on this next round, it's getting really heavy. And I'm really starting to understand like how to layer the water and how to, um, yeah, layer, just do layers and have it just show up a lot more rich. So I think at, after like a day of, uh, of painting, um, and drinking, I started to get really loose. And this is kind of one of the final, one of the final shots, or one of the final, final portraits. Yeah, so um, this is me going with the abstract and just kind of like playing with it. Um, and then coming back over with some line work it's interesting because this is my first time like experimenting with watercolors. So I'm just thinking of different ways. Uh, I'm just thinking of different ways that you can actually, that my style will show up in this medium. This is some more life drawing that I was doing. Um, these illustrations don't really look like the people that um, were inspired. I was basing these off of, but once again, just working with a lot of texture or a lot of layers rather, seeing it show up over here, or then even how it suggests different things. Um, I think it works well. We definitely like textures and hair and stuff like that. This is some more life drawing, in Instagram reference. Um, Just another one. Um, I think so much of this is me just trying to fill up the page, you know, but it's, I enjoy it. This is a life drawing of one of my cousins, but they're twins, so I don't know which one. Um, this goes back to kind of like this abstract and really in my style, I like this. I like these earth tones. I think that's what I most enjoy about this. 
this is this was actually a really cool one because um one i like the pose i like the pose um from the shot that i took of my niece but i also like the way like the energy kind of is conveyed through the abstract and through the pedal blocks coming out of her so i think this is something that i can continue to work on so when i went to maine what i ended up doing was just hanging out with my friends um and just painting around their painting around their place so i got the buddha statues got the nature influence I got the more Buddhas. Um, they're just telling me to chill out, so I was able to do that. Um, I really enjoy the way that the colors um, are, like how they're just so vibrant without the black ink or without the heavy black lines. And so that's something else that I'm considering, just in kind of taking notes for myself. Really cool, suggestive, almost like a castle scape thing going up. I slightly try to do figures coming in as if they're like dancing around or something. Yeah, this is just portrait with the uh, abstract flowing out the back. Once again, I think I'm just more or less trying to take in, use as much space as possible, but also keep trying to like incorporate the abstract with the figurative or the form. I don't really know. Well, I know how I kind of got to this style, but I think it's interesting that um, a lot of people have pointed out that it reminds them of an amusement park or like a roller coaster. But this reminds me of like, the Sims or like those games in the 90s where um, there's like compartment houses and stuff like that. But this gives me the roller coaster vibes. Maybe this too. Well, this is something I could go finish, but it more or less just reminds me of what actually happened, which was we ended up out on the beach and I said I was gonna paint, but I think most of them just ended up painting in the sand and I ended up chilling. So um, nevertheless, it was it was an attempt that we're just gonna leave at that. Mm, got this portrait in of my friend Eunice when I was out in Boston on my way back. That was pretty cool, some more life drawing. Um, and this was the start of kind of, I guess I'm mean, to page 36, but this is the start of um, kind of filling out the rest of the page, working from the references and getting some like cool shots and stuff from the trip. Such a crazy story about how this, um, they rescued a bird, my friends rescued a bird and now the bird comes back and hangs out with them. Wild. Some loose illustration. Um, I like this fish right here. Oh, and this is um, taken from my time in Baltimore where I was at my friend's church and just kind of seeing the historic spirit um, that was out there. Uh, this is the homie Greg. This is pretty tight. Um, I like how I have all this space that I know I'm gonna go back and work in, but um, yeah, just a good, I thought it was a good photo that I really enjoyed, so I want to paint it. Likewise with Claudia, took a really, um, took some time to just blow out some portraits. And then here I go with me with the baby bird. Um, I really like how I did the hair. I think this is probably, probably the part that I enjoyed the most about this piece. Um, Another reference photo. And then my homie Craig with their daughter Molly, my niece Molly. So I really enjoyed taking that photo too. So that was that was solid to like bring it back out here. This is probably my favorite page in the book actually because of this wallpaper effect. Like a lot more of this coming. 
but I think it's just a kind of a different dynamic. It reminds me of one of my like, favorite logo books. Um, yeah. Okay, and then this is how we finished it up. So, page 48. We did it, you know? Um, see what we have back here. Oh, once again. <sighs> Aqua, so. Yeah, this is a really great watercolor book by Pintalic. Um, suggest you do it, but that's about it. So thanks a lot.